Hello and welcome everybody. So this is uh, a demonstration about how to create uh, flip fluid uh, water simulation that's been affected and being splashed everywhere on this canal due to the fracture and uh, demolition of this rock and it's falling on this canal. Um, using Megascan geometry for the model, this one I created quickly and uh, using redshift to have a render output so let's go and see how the file was set up if you want to learn about Houdini and how to connect it to Unreal Engine to create amazing video uh, I advise you to go and check Wing Fox tutorial about comprehensive guide for filmmaking with Houdini and Unreal Engine 5 with the lecturer instructor uh, Guido uh, it's 59 now uh, with with an offer that will be find it in the description below with 15% coupon. <coughs> it will talk to you about uh, how to create the digital asset in Houdini and uh, prepare it as an FBX to export it to Unreal Engine and uh, set up the file scene there and then render it through through the Unreal Engine game engine and the new light uh, model lumen it's very comprehensive and a lot of tips and tricks that i advise you to go and have a look there so this is our scene i'll walk you through it using the mega scan plugin when you download it uh, when you activate it uh, first you need to decide which renderer you want to use arnold mantra red shift or render man still no karma so with this one I used Redshift and here either you have the tri planner or the Redshift material. I use the Redshift material also you can use it as uh, USD. So after you download your uh, asset, you will have it here. Let's activate it. So this is one of the very famous asset. can see and here when I downloaded first it was uh, prepared for mantra so it's already connected and with the textures which then I use this plugin shader converter just give it a second and I change it to redshift and I press convert so it uh, prepared the, the node for me as uh, redshift but if you use Megascan immediately to <coughs> download it as a shift, it will work. Then after that, I went here. Uh, in a previous video, I went through creating the connection and destruction and the Destruction and the uh, Voronoi fracture for this piece, and we simulated to fall down. We just remove the texture. Let's go through it. So this is the geometry, one of them, this is the other one, so we brought it here and we split it, so this is the piece, I did an ISO offset, so I'm creating this fog and I'm scattering a couple of points here. But before that, I created this big high-res grid and scattering points total of 20. And I'm randomizing the normal. And I'm giving some noise for the grid. Then copy to point. So I have this crazy shape that will cut through the Boolean fracture of the geometry. So we have it ready. It's... Uh, Add exploded view and have a look. So here is the 
fragments. I added some velocity to it in the x-axis. And this one I created as a, a side blocks that will be affected by the simulation. RBD solver. Then I run the simulation. After that, we created the fluid, which we need a wave tank, the collision of the geometry, all the rocks and mountain, and uh, we output two things. We output the particle, and we output the surface, so we can use the um, narrow bandwidth. So we have a faster simulation and with this particle with the same result because it will just simulate the surface. So here is the particles and here we cannot see but this is the volume. Our flip simulation is straightforward. We have the flip tank. We have the flip solver, and these are the uh, already cached uh, static object of the mountain that's being fall down. And the uh, important thing is the flip solver. See, so you have a bandwidth of two. I activated the divergence. Collision I increase it to 1.5, so when it hit the rock, it will make a bigger splash. And here also the vorticity I added so it will help us in the white water. And after that we imported here and we have the cache of the water. Let's see the particle. So this is when it starts to splash. The more resolution you have the better uh, detail you will get. And this is, this is the white uh, wood, the narrow uh, bandwidth. So here we have the volume and upstairs on the surface we will have the particles. After that, use this null output for the compressed geometry so I can use it in the white water and the particle surface to create the mesh and I use mainly the default setting only I make it smaller then I cache it We created a white water source from the shelf tool. White water, so it will create it for us. And this is the source. In a previous tutorial, we went uh, in deep talking about the white water and that's all of its parameter here. But you can leave it as a default. And in the simulation, We created the uh, stat attribute and with the form and some erosion. And we brought the same fragments and rocks. Then we import it here and we cache it. And this is how it looks. So we separated and we kept the form to make it as a volume by doing volume rasterize attribute. So this is the form 
and the other part is the particle we blasted according to the color because here uh, CDR is the spray the green is the foam and blue is the bubble as you can see and in the pop we made sure the redshift object particle is rendered as uh, object with a p scale of 0.1 so we imported it and we also imported the bubble but for the spray we run it through a pop net we brought the same fragments and we brought it with uh, 500 uh, thousand particle per second and it's receiving point nine of its attribute with some randomness we give it a color to differentiate and we kill whatever outside the boundary and we run the simulation then we save it as you can see we have much more particles one million and I leave it for only one second for each particle to live in the material the fluid material is just uh, water preset I kept it and it's of 1.33 and uh, it's pressure I make it zero the interior you use just a standard volume with some uh, into the blue and the particle itself just a standard material with some uh, white color and backlighting because it's very thin same this refraction and some sheen this is another test you can use uh, volume for the particle also and these are the Make a scan material as a redshift. Then in the output, I have the redshift material uh, uh, raw. Three should I make it one three because it's very heavy on my machine. I use denoiser and some motion blur also up to two. If you activate the color lot, you can play with the post uh, render effect the top here where I did my all of my uh, simulation which been saved and creating the video so that's the quick step uh, through the tutorial and the scene please uh, go and see my youtube channel there is a lot more video with details and don't forget to subscribe to my membership also so we can support each other and thank you very much for watching have a nice day